heaven. Yep. Where Electromite? Why Electromite still gone? Okay, the best I could do was double Iris and Joker. Well, the good news is, either way, it appears that we avoided the prophecy. <laughs> Flunders suck. I'd rather play Black Wings. Hey, at least we got the zoo cards gone though. That indeed is wonderful news because that engine should have never came back in the first place. But Anaconda? That Anaconda don't want none of that ban list, huh? I know we left that elephant in the room, taking up the entire room, but you know that meme template with the guy who has a good idea at the meeting but then gets thrown out of the building? Yeah, I didn't want to get thrown out of the building again. <laughs> again? They throw me out for every idea that you give me. <laughs> right, it's exactly as you just said. It's the guy who has the good idea or the dank idea who gets thrown out of the building. You would be just fine if you were a yes man. I miss being a yes man. <laughs> okay, Cypher, there's no going back into the Matrix, all right? Just like, Mally can't come back to three, I suppose? You and I both know that Mally comes on and off the ban list all the time, and that it's way too good with Link summoning. Yeah, so does e Telly. Speaking of which, I'm really glad that that's back at two. Should be at three, but I'm glad that it's back at two. I'm glad that Nessie's at two, and Joker. So the list was good? It was pretty limp dicked and uh, didn't change very much. <laughs> Here's where the video gets good. We still have Dragoons running around, so really the only thing that this ban list did was trade a zoo package and prank kids for half-assed E-Telly for Cosmo or whatever else and half-assed Pendulum without Electromite. Electromite would make Pendulums way too strong. And, and look, Konami doesn't want any more decks, okay? There's like 50 viable decks! What are you talking about? Especially with all the power cards that you've made. Well, really, there's only three or four, maybe five viable decks. You know, Drytron and Dry Brigade. First off, yes. But actually, yes. Second off, Pendulums have been crippled since the Master Rule changes. The players don't like Pendulums. Or at least we thought they didn't. Then why am I always hearing pin best deck, pin best deck? And why do people seem to miss Duelist Alliance era so much? Hmm, it's almost like that era of Yu-Gi-Oh was way better despite all of the bitching about pendulums. Hmm, almost like, huh? Everything in this game gets worse over time, just like in real life because... And you're rubbing off on me. Good, now let's discuss the next list. Three Upstart Goblin with all three Brilliant Fusion back, but Verte Anaconda gone. <coughs> That's a tall order. Not really, because we Ooh. both know the Anaconda should have been banned on this list. And the Brilliant Fusion Engine, as powerful as it is, it is very bricky, making it fair. Another thing that makes it fair is that the best decks can't really play it anyways. Or at least they won't. Okay, well what about Animancipators? Well, then people would play Animancipator, or Gym Knights, or ABCs, or invoke shenanigans more often. I don't know. Okay. Okay. We are hitting a point in Yu-Gi-Oh where it's getting so fast that in the future, Pot of Greed is gonna come back without issue. So why not upstart Goblin right now, especially because it gives your opponent life points, making them harder to OTK, especially if you drew multiple upstart Goblins. That's actually a really good point. Plus it's a card that literally every, every deck, deck can, can play. play. As well as the Brilliant Fusion Engine, basically. Although Konami doesn't really seem to like uh, people having fun playing decks that they want to play your cards that they want to play. Shit, okay. That might actually be doable. Oh yeah, and um, Max C should go to six. <laughs> that is not doable. <laughs> Until in the future where you guys inevitably create a new Max C that's way more powerful than the old Max C, justifying the old Max C coming back to three, effectively giving us six Max C. Shit, he's right. I think that's enough discussion for today. I agree. Wanna go get lunch? Yep. Tacos! Here we come. You know, they keep coming out with new product and dropping new ban lists, but it sure doesn't seem like Konami cares about their Yu-Gi-Oh brand enough to get the players to care. They just keep coming out with stuff. And the players keep it alive because... Yeah, he's rubbing off on me too. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>